Hi, my name is Joseph Wicks from Stay By Boss. Today, I shall be looking at my top three free YouTube video thumbnail creators. And these free YouTube video thumbnail creators are PowerPoint, Usine, and Canva. Now, I shall be looking at them based on different criteria. The first criteria I shall be looking at for them is based around the features they have and what you can utilize with these thumbnails and what other features they give. The second feature I shall be looking at for them is whether or not you can utilize these with other types of software. So if you have different other soft types of types, whether you, or apps, whether you can use each of these three with or integrated with any other apps that you own. The third feature I shall be looking at is whether or not these apps, these three apps are easy to use, whether you can use their fonts easily and whether you can use the templates easily. And the fourth feature I shall be looking at is the money. I shall be looking at how much they cost and I'm looking at this not just for how much they cost because some of them are free forever, but whether or not if you want to use more features, whether you can scale up easily or how much it costs to scale up and whether or not you should start with this so you already have a body of work that you can utilize to actually go forward and make sure that it is the right choice for you. So based on these four criteria, I shall be doing a, a run through of each of these and a comparison of all three of these. Now, before I, I, I jump into chat showing you any of that, let's look at this tool. This is what Google calls an image analyzer. And the reason why you have this is that you are able to analyze your thumbnails. I have actually uploaded one of my thumbnails on here and it's how to create free thumbnails using PowerPoint. And you can see that it actually goes in and actually does a very detailed analysis of my face. You can see the dots here, all the green dots. And what it shows out up here is the different categories it has. You can see it has joy and it shows possible. So I'm smiling and that's why it says it's, it's, it's possibly joy. It also says I have a headwear on, maybe it's because the way my head is angled backwards and it thinks I have a hat on. But aside from that, it's pretty much happy with the whole thumbnail. It says this because when I go to save set, which is the other tab that it has here, I mean, it has all these other ones which you can go in and look at in your own good time. But the most important one is save search and it wants to know if this thumbnail has any of these categories and if it did, it will show it. So it says adult, unlikely, spoof, medical, violence, racist, they're all very unlikely. So in its eyes, in Google's eyes, this is a very good and it's safe thumbnail and it most likely use it to show to its audiences on both Google and YouTube. It is not necessary to use this particular free Google software to analyze your thumbnails if you feel that it's a thumbnail very similar to this. But if there are any issues that you think it might have, like you have any images on it, which you might think might be borderline, then I'll advise you to come here and have a look at this. So let's jump in and have a look at the different categories I spoke about. One thing I will say to you though, before we get, we get going is that I have left links up there for each of the analysis I did for each of the different apps and software that I actually looked into. Also, I shall leave links down below for each of them. So you can also go and click on them and you can see what they look like. I give you a step by step guide of how to set up and create from scratch the thumbnails. And it's pretty easy and pretty quick. Each of the videos is about 10 minutes. And what you get from each of these 10 minutes is how to actually go in and analyze and look for certain aspects and utilize your thumbnails so you can get clickable thumbnails and the best kind of thumbnails that will help you convert. Here we are in front of the PowerPoint user interface and I would never really call PowerPoint a graphics interface by any stretch of the imagination. What PowerPoint is in truth is that PowerPoint is what it, what it says. It is one for creating presentations and that is core function. But what, why I use PowerPoint to make thumbnails was because many people have it free and it comes with Microsoft Office or the Microsoft package. And as a result of that is a resource that you could start using initially before you decide to upgrade to any of the other two I've put forward. Now, what are the features that PowerPoint has, which I think might be useful to you? Number one is ease of use. And the ease of use is that you can go in there and you can create using a blank template. It has an interface where you can import features like images and you can actually upload the text and it has a good variety of text fonts that you might want to utilize. So I think in that regard, ease of use is, it's okay. It's not, like I said, I'll keep coming back to the fact that it's by no means or by any stretch of imagination, a graphics template. The other feature which I was going to talk to you about is whether or not it has good integrations and um, how much it's going to cost in terms of uh, pricing. So in terms of integrations, 
it is i don't know that powerpoint integrates anything that doesn't have to do with microsoft so i think it scores very low to zero on that so if you're looking to see whether you can integrate it with any other aspect of your your marketing or your you know your workflow then i think it's not going to work for you in that regard in terms of templates it does have some templates as you can see but it's nothing compared to the templates that you're going to see with the other two usain and Canva, which I'm going to be talking about after this. These templates can be modified, but the, the reality of the situation is that they're not primarily geared towards creating thumbnails. You have to use your imagination. The other feature that I find a bit difficult or a, a bit of a hurdle is the fact that when you've created your, your thumbnail, you have to always go and resize it. Now, with the other two, which is Usine and Canva, it comes out of the box ready to be uploaded and this is going to help you hugely with your workflow i mean going to resize it is not a big deal but it's just an extra step outside the feature or the features of the software the app that will just think it just makes you think to yourself oh should i be using this in terms of its pricing if you're not going to buy powerpoint which you can separately it comes with the, the system you buy or laptop or the desktop you buy then it's free for life and so this is one big area that i think that really works for it so in terms of free yes it is free for life or it can be free for life in terms of its integration i think it doesn't have any real integration in terms of its ease of use it's quite easy to use and it works quite well and in terms of how they can be used with other features or how many templates it has it doesn't really have that many templates so powerpoint i would say it's a first entry into creating thumbnails but it's not one that I would actually recommend going forward because after a while you hit, you hit stumble blocks and if you're making loads of, of thumbnails and you're, cre you're creating loads of videos, then you will be, you come to a point where you will need to get something which is more robust and which has a more dynamic flow to it. And for these, I will ask you to look at the other two. One, Canva and two, Usain. So let's have a look at the other two. Canva is an amazing tool, as I've said to you before, and if you watch my video on creating thumbnails, which I'll actually put up there, you can see that Canva is one that is very easy to use. It has an amazing array of templates if you want to use them to create thumbnails, and it also has the ability to start from scratch. It is a software that is obviously geared towards people who have no experience and who have the ability to create things from scratch. What I also say about Canva in terms of its core function or what I believe it looks like it's actually designed for is creating high quality graphics. And in creating high quality graphics, areas like brochures and templates and invitation cards and social media posts really have a very good basis and a very good amount of features that you can utilize within its, its whole framework. What I will also say about Canva is in terms of its templates, which is second feature, I want to talk about ease of use is amazing. It's ability to use different templates. It has millions of templates in so many different areas. So Canva is very good at producing many different features for you and options for you in terms of its templates. In integration, in terms of integration, Canva is also quite amazing because it's one of the best known, even the best known free graphics tool out there and integrates with so many different platforms. So if you want to scale up in terms of if you want to utilize features that you might not have, it has integrations that you can utilize. And also this helps your workflow. So putting areas of your work into other tools that you might own, Canva will actually do this for you. One feature I found that which was pretty impressive was that you can actually, in terms of its pricing, you can actually subscribe to Canva using cryptocurrency. I, I didn't even know that. And that is quite amazing. So Canva is fully integrated and forward thinking in, in that regard. So it's an amazing tool and it is one that you should definitely have a look at because in terms of what you're doing now and in terms of what you're going to be doing later, Canva will definitely work for you in this regard. Its pricing is free and then 99 pounds or 99 dollars, I beg your pardon, for a year. And if you want to go to the enterprise level, I think you have to negotiate with them. What you get with $99 is that you get an integration with up to five members of your team. This will be given to you and you can actually work in clusters and you can actually have features where if you are working with Canva, you can bring in people and they will actually collaborate within the structure of 
the framework of what you're working on. So Canva is a, an amazing tool and it's definitely one that I think you should, you should look at. In terms of creating thumbnails, you saw how easy it was for me to create a thumbnail. You saw the features and what I particularly liked were the fact was the fact that the fonts that it had, it showed you, you could use the fonts separately or you could use the fonts in clusters. So you, you already had the design for the way you could use the font. So you could just pull it in with this drag and drop interface. You could actually pull in this, the, the format you liked already pre-prepared and that meant that that made your workflow that much easier. Canva is definitely one I will look at and in terms of using it, I actually think that it has the most templates and I think it has the, 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 the features that you definitely want to use. One feature I have to mention that I didn't talk about is the fact that you can manipulate each images more in Canva than in either PowerPoint or in Usine. It has the, 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 the ability to blur and to do more with single images so you can put an image and you can do more with that this is very very useful or a very useful feature when you're creating thumbnails or any other aspects of your graphics canva is one i would recommend and i think that when you're looking at a free tool to use you have to have canva in your arsenal usign is one i actually covered as well and it is the third in the line of free thumbnail software that I used and what Usine does in general is it's very similar to what Canva does. What Usine can do and what Usine is able to do is it actually allows businesses promote themselves via social media ads, videos and creating methods to promote yourself as a business. Where, where Canva is highly focused on graphics and creating high quality graphics. user also creates high quality graphics, but it actually works in a way that helps a business promote itself a bit more completely. Now, user has features and it has templates as well, but the templates it has are not as many as what you get with Canva. It has templates in terms of many different areas. And I showed you that when I talked to you about user and how to create thumbnails. Now, the video is actually up there. You can have a look at my video on creating thumbnails with Usine, and it's an amazing tool. What I'll say to you though is it differs from Canva in, in a few ways. One, it has the ability to help you in terms of promoting your business, I believe a bit, I won't say better, but in a bit more focused way. And the other aspect of Usine that I think is a bit different is the fact that it, do, it might not have as much in terms of working with images as Canva does. If this is a game changer for you, then definitely Canva should be the one you pick. And the reason why I say this is because user has this feature that it'll help you remove the background of an image and integrate that into your thumbnails, but it will not help you manipulate the image itself. Aside from that though, Usine's ease of use is amazing. It is, like I said about Canva, it is very easy to use. It has quite a few templates and a few other features that you find very useful and you can get up to speed with using it very quickly. I showed you the interface and how to work with it. Also in terms of its integration, I'll say to you that Usine has integrations with a number of other different platforms, primarily in the marketing area, because like I said to you, it's, it's really focused on helping businesses promote themselves in terms of their presence on different platforms, whether it's social media or on the internet in general. I have a number of marketing products and I have user integrated with them. So it's it's very, very much geared in that direction. The other aspect of user which I think you want to know about is in terms of in terms of its pricing. Now user is priced free to use for the first 10 days. And after that you have to make a decision as to whether or not you want to actually pay for it. You can pay for it at $97 for a lifetime. And I believe that this is different to what Canva offers where you actually have to pay for it at $99 a year. So using with using, you have a one-off. I think your that is the first tier. You other have other tiers by which you can actually get more in terms of if you want to have integrations with team members and if you want to have the full package. But I believe it starts at $97 a lifetime. Using is one that I think you definitely want to get in your arsenal. What I will say to you though is because I have Canva free and I pay for Usine and I also have PowerPoint, I use all three of them. This, this is the reality of the situation because I make quite a number of videos. And I also have, in addition to these other tools I use as well for creating thumbnails, because 
what I want to do is I want to work with speed and have a workflow that actually works for me. So from time to time, I use Usign and from time to time I use Canva or other tools I own. But that is beyond the scope of this particular comparison. So what I'll say is if you want to create thumbnails to start off with and you don't want to get involved with any of these and you have PowerPoint already, you can start off with PowerPoint. However, what I would suggest is that you should actually start using one of these other two, either Canva or Usign. I've given you what I think are the features that you require in terms of the number of templates it has, in terms of how much you have to pay, and in terms of the fact that if you want to have a body of work already and you want to have actually be able to utilize the pro versions, you actually know what you want to do. Usign, I'll say to you, is one that if you're a business owner uh, or you want to actually promote your business and you want to use some of the features there, it's actually focused a bit more, I believe, than Canva in that direction. But if you're about making high quality graphics, invitation cards, brochures, and the like, and social media posts, then maybe Canva might be the one that you want to work with. But either which way, both of these graphic software types are fantastic and both of them will do a very good job for you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down as the case might be and subscribe to my channel. I make these videos on a regular basis. You can come back for more different topics and you will get a notification if you hit the subscribe button as to when I make my next video and one that probably will be able to help you. Thank you. Bye.